Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another word from the Lord. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this word today. Thank you that we know it's true. And even if the bridegroom tarries, Lord God, we're going to have oil in our lamp and we're going to have our light shining and looking for you, Jesus. We love you. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, give us much oil for your return, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, sorry for a little bit of sound disturbance. I have a guest. So let's go ahead and get started. The word that the Lord gave me is rapture near. And I want to say we had this one maybe two months ago. So we're having it again. And the Lord said rapture near very clearly. And he told me to go tell it. So let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this word. Thank you for reassuring us that you are near and you are coming soon, Lord God. Help us to put our hands to the plow and not look back, Jesus. Forgive us for all of our sins. Wash every stain away, God. Wash every blemish away. Help us to remember our first works. Help us to, to do what we do in love, Lord God. Help us to have salve for our eyes so that we might see garments that we might, the shame of our nakedness may not be seen, Lord God. Forgive us for our sins, Jesus. All of our sins, God. Forgive us, Jesus. We know your blood can cover us. It can wash us and your word can wash us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than saying the words, believe them with all your heart as you confess them with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. They are many. Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Be my savior and be my Lord. I believe you are the Messiah, the son of God. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. Um, the Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. He's going to show you the church home to go to, the job you should take, the person you should marry, all of those things. The Holy Spirit can help guide you in decision making throughout your life. Um, he wants you to go and find a church home, he wants you to go and be baptized. And he also wants you to go out and fellowship with other believers, something he doesn't want us to forsake. So let the Holy Spirit lead you in those things and keep you sharp in the word of God by finding others to be around. And God is with you. He loves you. He's protecting you and he's keeping you. He's kept you thus far. All right. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.